all right so this is the question which was asked in um, i mean this is general practice question which uh, for which we are going to use the data of a city of san francisco let's focus on the question here it says find the average total compensation based on employee titles and gender okay so first of all let's have a look on the data let's let's see the data preview while it's opening okay let me expand it a little bit all right so here is the data which you have so in this you can see the age employee title everything is given over there right so now let's continue reading the question here it says total comp compensation is calculated by adding both the salary and bonus of each employee okay however not every employee receives a bonus so disregard employees without bonuses in your calculation okay employee can receive more than one bonus output the employee title gender along with the average total compensation so this is the question before we start understanding it or digging it deeper let's see the data <coughs> i'm sorry so there are two data frames one is employee the other one is bonus okay now let's just break down the question first it says find the average total compensation based on employee and titles so let me copy this this goes my first problem statement this is my first problem statement so here it says average average of total compensation by by employee titles and gender so if you have to see the expected output you see this is how the output is expected here you must have employee employee title sex and the average total compensation so this is the first um, first or maybe you can say ultimate goal of this question also right then the next part which we need to achieve is total compensation is calculated by adding both salary and bonus so the second part is total compensation i will quickly copy it from here total compensation is going to be salary plus bonus okay now the third problem statement is so in the, the second part says you need to calculate the total compensation by adding salary and bonus next part it says is however not every employee receives a bonus so disregard employees without bonuses okay so delete exclude exclude employees without bonus without bonus all right this is one thing next next what is the next next says employee can receive more than one bonus okay so there is there could be one employee who who is receiving more than one bonus so ultimately you have to find the average of total uh, average of total compensation by employee so if there is one employee who is receiving more than one bonus so then first you will have to sum it up for that particular employee then only you will be able to find the average of all so here what we need to do is sum of bonus okay sum of bonus that we need to do and in the output it is saying to display these these many columns these are the columns in which it is i don't know why it hide it so it is asking to display these things but there is one thing like i showed you in the beginning itself Bo there are two data frame bonus and the employee so we require to merge the data frames as well okay so uh, what i would do is here i would say fourth i would say fourth is merging the data set merging or maybe you can put it at any sequence okay merging the data data frames data frames all right okay so we are done right let me just say it five now to solve that what we're gonna do is we're gonna so, uh, do it in reverse order first we're gonna sum up the bonus this is the data frame all right this is the data frame we need to sum up the bonus first so let's just try to solve this one by one so first i'm going to solve the fifth problem statement okay i'm going to create a data frame where i will i'll say bonus and okay before that let me so show you the bonus let me show you this data so as you can see over here see the employee id 2 
is repeated twice that means employee id 2 have received two bonus so we need to sum up this okay so the here i'm going to create a data frame called bonus and i would say sf sf underscore bonus dot pivot table and into that i'm going to say index equals to index equals to work ref id this is the one work ref id and then values i'm going to use bonus and then ag func which the aggregation which i want to do is sum all right so now here we have it okay i also need to do reset index reset index so now you can see here for employee id number two there is just one entry and the both of the amount have been summed up okay so now we this this is done problem number fifth is done now we need to solve the problem number fourth where we have to merge the data frames okay so i'm going to say merged and here i would say sf dot merge and the data frame which i want to merge is bonus and left on on the left hand side i am keeping sf employees let me check out spelling for sf employees if whether that is right or not yeah there is a problem it should be sf employee not the employees okay left on in the left column the primary key which i have is id and in the right call right table which is bonus into that the primary key which i have is this work ref id all right done now the next thing which it says is third number exclude employees without bonus so employees who does not have any bonus received right would not be available in the bonus data frame but that might be available into the into the employee data frame so if i do inner join it will give me only those records which are common in both so problem number third and problem number fourth both of these two i'm going to solve over here here I'm going to say and and this. So problem number fourth and third. Both of these two things I'm going to solve over here. Here I would just say how inner. Okay. Now let's just see the data. All right. Here is some problem. It says right. Okay. Right on. I need to say right on. All right. Now we have our data most and we have the list of only those employees which were common in both. That means only those employees which have who have received the bonus. Now, I, be, I believe you are getting the point. OK, now third number is also solved. Second thing is total compensation. Now we need to find the total compensation. So in the most data frame, I'm going to create another column. I would say total comp and into that I would say most dot salary plus most dot bonus so salary column from the most data frame and bonus column from the same data frame i'm adding them up together okay now let me make it a little bigger and let me show the whole data frame most okay now let's just see what is happening all right now you see over here total compensation column is created right over here and if you see bonus amount is 2500 salary is 2200 if you sum them up all together it is becoming 4700 very good now the first problem this was solved this was solved okay let me remove this also the last problem which we need to solve oops please bear with that the next thing which we need to do is this average of total compensation by employee title and gender so let's say merge dot pivot table pivot table and into that i'm going to say index two things which we require into the index number one employee title so let's put employee title and then number two we require gender for which i'm going to use the sex column and let me show you that it's right over here then the next thing which we need to perform is values we need to say which column that on which we want to 
perform the calculation so th for that i'm going to use total compensation and then what sort of aggregation that i want to perform that i need to tell in ag func parameter and that will be mean all right we are all set total comp spelling error now we got that okay uh, let me just see if i need to put it this way mm -hmm. ag func in this we need to show only this thing mean and this is done actually now i need to show only two uh, two or three columns okay so let me first do this reset reset index reset index all right reset index is done now let me keep only those columns which are needed over here so that you can do by just saying okay i got it why it's showing like this now it will be done you see over here I previously it was showing all the columns because I was displaying printing this table the entire table that's why it was showing all the all the columns but now you see those are removed and when I do this this is what I am getting you see auditor mail etc but there is one more thing which we need to do that is sorting on the tables you see okay sorting is not needed because our data matches this right so it has not asked to sort the data okay so i think we are done with this now let's just check the solution let's just check the solution Ooh, it is correct you see the solution is correct bravo so i just hope that it was pretty simple for you to understand and uh, we split it that into the steps and these were very simple steps isn't it you see first what we are doing is sum the bonus, then merge the table, then find total compensation and then find the average of that total compensation by employee title and gender. That's it. Thank you very much for watching this. Give, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe it for our motivation to share it with your friends so that it could be helpful for them as well. Thank you once again.